Hello everybody. I'm Tanya. And I'm Molly. Today we are going to do some experiments with, um, this is called Jeez. a geyser tube. So you can get this at stevespangler.com. If you don't have a geyser tube though, you can just roll up a piece of paper and um, get all the Mentos to fall down into your Diet Coke all at the same time. You can look these up on YouTube. There's tons of videos. Today we're going to compare the um, one yeah. new one liter bottles to the two liter bottles to see if there's a difference. And we just wanted to make a fun video because everybody's stuck inside and um, kind of bored. And I'm used to doing this at ki with kids at school. And we talk about um, whether this is a physical or chemical change. You can look up Mythbusters as they talk about how this is just a physical change. It just blows the pop and candy up out of the two liter bottle. And it makes a pretty cool fountain. So that's what we're going to look at. Molly's done this before. Um, and the Coke got all over her. So we're going to find her goggles. It's a good idea to wear safety goggles as it can get kind of messy, especially if you don't have one of these. But we're gonna fill this up with candy and then uh, drop the candies in here and this valve shuts you can them eat off. That candy? Then you screw this onto the two liter Guys, me. and you pull this out when you're ready to see a soda fountain. Okay, so we're gonna pause the video and we'll meet you outside for some soda fountains. That one's pretty high. That was the one liter bottle of Diet Coke. What'd you think about that one, Molly? I I think the one liter went higher. That was awesome. That was our one liter bottle of Diet Coke. This is a two liter bottle. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> Gosh, it went so high I couldn't even get it all into the camera. That was our two liter bottle of Diet Coke. Did you think that was awesome? 